hi viewers welcome to my channel today hope you all are doing great in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to cut and sew the beautiful and stunning kaftan booboo dress you are watching in this channel right now to the glory of god both the cutting and the sewing part of this dress they are all in this one video i made this outfit with a two and a half years of duchess fabric by 60 legs so guys in case you're coming across my channel for the first time please make sure you hit the like share and subscribe button please guys the subscription is free all you need to do is just to softly hit your finger on the subscription box and also remember to put on your notification bell so that you'll be notified each time i upload a new video on this channel thank you so very much and god bless you so guys let's quickly get started so this is my fabrics you know i use two different colors of fabrics for this dress so i have to join them together one of it is about one yard and nine inches that's one and one yard and quarter inches so i just joined both of them together i stitch it together so can you see what i'm doing so after folding it the first time i folded it again both the opening side and the closed side they are right by my side can you see they're on the left left side Remember, I folded it once, then I now fold it again. Can you see? And I now have about four layers. So the two horse blood, they are all inside. The orange first, the two of us blood, second, second, and the orange again is the last one on top. So I will take one inch for my back neck depth. Then I will take three inches for my neck width, both the front and the back neck width. It's three inches. So I'll go ahead and take my sleeve length. My sleeve length is 20 inches from the middle back of my neck. So from there, I came down by one inch for my shoulder loop. So I join it to the neck part of my dress. So from there again, I will take 14 inches for my sleeve width. Then I will just make a curve, like about two inches. I came in by two inches. Then I will now take it from there to the down part of my dress there is no half length no hip measurement i'll just take it down so i'll go ahead and cut it So this part I'm cutting now, they are both closed. So the part I stitch, they are all right beside me. The opening part and the part I stitch. You have to do your folding very well so that after cutting, the two the two different colors will be on the side you want them to be can you see 
so the one under this one right here is the back part where I stitch where I join both colors together can you see it so after cutting I have the horse blood one side and the orange one side so you have to be careful when you're folding so that you fold it right so that you cut it right sorry can you see So I'll just trim the back neckline. I'll trim it very well. So the next thing I will do is to cut the front part. I will cut the front neck depths. Remember the dress is a has a V shape neckline so I'll join it I came down by seven inches So I have to trim it very well. You know, this material is always disturbing anytime you are cutting it. So you have to be very careful with it. Can you see what the neckline look like? That's V neckline right there. Three inches width and seven inches depth. That's what I use. So I'll go ahead and cut my back interfacing. Can you see that? That's my back interfacing. So I'll do the same thing to the front part of my dress. I stitch both the interfacing and the main dress together. Then after I top stitch on the interfacing as usual. So I'll go ahead and give it a little press. I will also iron the second part then I will do the same thing to the back part so I'm holding the interfacing down with my hem gum so that it won't be flipping up and down when you're wearing it so hem gum is very very important when you're sewing always make sure you have it with you Especially when you're sewing all these Dutchess fabrics and all those just chiffon fabrics, Dutchess, all those fabrics that's always, that's not always one place whenever you're 
making them so always make sure you have your hem gum with you make sure you have it available it's very very important it does a very important work in sewing is a must have especially when you are turning your neck even the one you're doing with a lining make sure you have your hem gun with you to give you a neat finishing So I will do the same thing to the other side. So I will join the neck, I will join the front part together. I will join from where my neck start, stopped, my neck opening, that's my neck depth. So I will stitch from there, then I will stitch to the part where I have my slit, that is the down part of my dress. So I've done that. The next thing I will do is to join the shoulders. Can you see what I'm doing? You join the interfacing together, the main dress, the main shoulder together. After joining it, you now shift it to the main shoulder. Then you stitch them together. So I'll join it and this is the shoulder so I'll go ahead and iron it I'll iron it very well can you see that can you see both my interfacing so the next thing I will do after sewing these dresses weave it so that all this all those small small trade will not be coming out so I'll iron the shoulder opening open so that it will relax very well the joining at the shoulder iron it open so I have to add this to the to the sleeve because the sleeve is not too long so I don't want to fold it again so I have to stitch another pieces about 1.5 inches to it so after folding it the first one I'll fold it the second time after folding it the second time I will now insert my elastic inside it with my pin. My, pin, my elastic is about 0 0.25 inch, that is one quarter inch. Can you see I'm turning it for the second time? So it's about 0 0.5 inch now. Meanwhile, my elastic is just 0 0.25, so it will contain it. I did this because my sleeve is not long enough, so I don't want to start folding it and folding it the second time. So this is the second part. So this is how I created the design at the front of my dress. What I have here is about 11 inches long and the width of about 8 inches. So from the ending part, I came up by 3 inches. I came up by 3 inches. I will cut it. You see that V shape at the down part of the design. So I'll cut two of these because I will use one to turn it. Can you see the two pieces? So I'll stitch it round. Then I will remain about one inch open where I will turn it to the right part. So I'll stitch it. Can you see the open where I remain? That's one inch. So I will now go ahead and turn it to the right side from there. I 
after turning it, I will now fold it and stitch it on top. It will not show because it's just a little line. Can you see what it look like? I'll give it a good press. So after ironing it, the next thing I will do is to stone it. I'll do the stoning parts. I'll show you how I'll do my stoning if I'm not using the stoning machine. That one consume too much light. So I don't use it all the time. Can you see? I will just place my stone. I know most of us, we know how to stone already. So after placing my stone, the next thing I will do is to, after placing my stone, I will now use the pieces of cloth and cover it. Cover it, then sprinkle water on it. Then I will iron, I will hold and press so that the gum on the stone will sink inside will sink inside the fabrics can you see so after stoning i will now place it on top of my dress then i will stitch it i will stitch all the side on my dress first of all i use my hem gum to hold it down so that it won't be moving up and down so that is how i made this be this beautiful lovely bubu kaftan dress please guys make sure you give this video a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel remember i told you that this subscription is is just free that's just the only way you can appreciate my work thank you so very much I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for always coming through for my channel. Thank you for all you do. If you have any anything you don't understand in this tutorial, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you so, so very much, guys. See you in our next video. And please don't forget to put on your notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. See you in our next video and bye for now.